guys, your boy Weez. And welcome back to Sipping With Me and I. All right, guys, so I'm feeling better. Those who've been watching us know I've been kind of down and out and, you know, going through a little stomach thing and wasn't really feeling good. This video should have been out last week. Um, actually, the actual video, well, we was in D.C. You know about the title. You know why you're watching this video right now. This is the cops and pickups from our recent DC trip part two. We went to DC back last October, picked up a whole bunch of joints, and now we went back for uh, Shaq's birthday party and for the official Sipping With Me Now party at the Elroy Bar. Shout out to Durante Rum and Aunt Donna and everybody there. And y'all know once we're in DC, you know, we gotta cop some bottles. You know, that's what we do. And while we're there, we got blessed with a few bottles. So we ended up leaving there. Not we, we, we went to DC thing. We probably pick up two or three bottles. Mm -hmm. Came back what? like fourteen. And so we decided to do a haul video. Oh, boom, boom, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we could have fly. We're never fly to DC unless it's just strictly on business. When we go to DC, we definitely got drive because we know we definitely copying time. So uh, again, hopefully y'all can you know watch this video, get inspired by the video, or take action and go cop some of these amazing, wonderful, delicious, tasty brands that we're about to show y'all tonight. Um, so, um, pretty much majority of them you can get in DC. If not, they will be in DC soon. Or there's numerous websites, which I put all the links and everybody in the description below. Right. Yeah. First bottle. Uh, let's go with the the lady of the hour. Let's go. With, let's let's start with our first cop, um, which is from our auntie Donna, where we uh, went to uh, the Elroy Bar to have our first part. Again, that video should be coming soon. But the Elroy Bar is owned by Durante Rum Shops. Again, Aunt Donna, um, and she sells her own rum as well, which is Durante Rum. And so she has a dark rum and a white rum probably one of the best rums y'all know we're gonna be we've been repping this since the time we met her and we definitely part of the durante rum family so first thing first we got durante rum white and dark rum shout out to my lamp oh and we got the lamp shave it's plugged in but we got the official durante rum Lamp it's shade, so one of one. No one else got that. Look. That's a one of one. It was, it was a Next thing we go with, let's start with everybody that came to the party. Okay. Next one we go with Ethel 56 Vodka. Now again, all this stuff we'll eventually get to and we'll do a, a official review. So this is just an overview, but this is Ethel 56 Vodka. Bring it back some. We met the owner, Mrs. Renee. I mean, yeah, picture. Renee. You see the pictures already on the screen. Uh, her Instagram, Ethel56. Uh, one thing uh, about this, it says Ethel56 luxuriously smooth. So not just ultra smooth, not just smooth. Is, it's luxuriously premium. smooth. This is premium Top vodka. 100% neutral spirit distilled from grain. 40% um, by volume 80 proof. This one, again, y'all, this is why we support Black Owned Spirits. Of course, it's brand new. All these brands have a story of some kind. So you, when you support these other companies and these other offerings, and you, you don't know, know anything, story. you don't say it again, baby. Well, you know their story. Ethel 56 is named after, again, the owner you see on the screen is Renee. Um, but this brand is named after her mother, Ethel uh, Callahan. The 56 come from because Ethel mother lived to the young age of 56. And so Ethel 56 is a tribute, it's an ode to her mother. Again, guys, why would you buy any other vodka? Why would you waste your money on Grey Goose? when you got this Ethel 56 right here in your store. So again, next one is Ethel 56. All right, next up, me. Shot town stand up, west side. Now, this one here, we first caught eye um, on Instagram probably a few months ago, been going back and forth trying to see if we can get our hands on it. Um, found out that she was going to be at the Elroy Bar to do a release party for her brand, City Nights Vodka. Um, we ended up meeting her at the Elroy, at the Vodka Takeover. Guys, when I tell y'all, she called us before we um, arrived just to check on us. Beautiful sister, uh, great spirit. Uh, shout out to the owner, name is Dr. Amanda Turner. 
Um, very, again, very, very funny. But this brand here is just amazing, guys. Again, we're gonna do a full review probably next. But she has three offerings. This is a pineapple lemonade and hemp. This next one is a honey apple and hemp. And this third one is ginger honey and hemp. And again, guys, just look at the bottle. Look at the city. It's a beautiful piece, man. Again, we was blessed to receive all three of these bottles and it came in a nice, wonderful case. We'll put this back in the original case um, that how we got it when we do the official review on this. But again, shout out to Dr. Amanda. And again, y'all, we got Durante Rum. We got uh, Ethel 76, we got City Nice. And next thing we picked up uh, that was blessed to us was the goats, the king, Los Hermanos. So this is the Blanco. Uh, again, shout out to my brother Dante. His wife came out uh, to party with us and, and it was just a beautiful time, man. Like we met Dante a few times. And again, one of my favorite go-to tequilas um, we got the Reposado, well, no, I think we got a Reposado, so we got a cup of Reposado, but we got like three Blancos. And again, y'all, this is a must have. I don't drink no other tequila. You no, know, I may do tequila with friends, but outside of that, you know, this is the go-to tequila. All right, so I think that's it for those that came to the actual party. Let's move this to the side, baby. Now the next bottles is what we picked up from uh, Chats Liquor. Shout out to Uncle Bernie, one of the coolest guys in the world, one of the best liquor stores you can go to. The next one is uh, from Chats Liquor. It's right there, downtown, um, Capitol Hill. Must go to um, anytime you in DC. First thing first, we're gonna start off with my, we call my brother, my brother, he's my cousin, man. The coolest down to earth brother in the world. And we're gonna start this thing off with 716 Vodka Guy. If y'all don't get y'all, if y'all in the DC, DMV area, what are y'all doing? Like, you gotta have 716 Vodka. Not only is it a good taste in vodka, I mean, tell me how powerful this thing is. It is, believe it or not, a hundred proof. A hundred of them things, a hundred proof. <coughs> Come on, man. They, I don't know why, how we do it. Hey, man, this, this should be legally illegal, guys. No proof left up, no proof left behind. This right here is the real deal. It's smooth and has that kick to it. Guys, it's none other. Get you some 716 vodka. Next up is one we've been looking for. Shout out to your friend Charles. He did uh, uh, a video, a reel um, on this, and we've been looking for this. And they had it, man. So next on the list is Abisola Whiskey. Loving the bottle. I mean, just look at I mean, this bottle is so beautiful. My brother had the cop. Um, it said, we celebrate uh, we celebrate this whiskey drinker, the courageous, diverse young women and men who share their bond spirit with their parents, grandparents, and other strangers. They can the website Cheers with the uh, Abisola. Um, dot com again get to it more but I can't wait to try this and and do an official review on this so next on the list that we purchased is Alpha Sola next up is uh, another wine that we saw uh, your friend Charles uh, talk about but also uh, shout out to again Aaron from 716 Vodka he's been telling me I need to get this didn't know how but guess who had it Chats Liquor so next up is Suede Rose Wine I mean, how, look at this. Beautiful sisters on the bottle, just enjoying themselves with a nice glass of wine. Can't wait to meet, and uh, for me and me, but definitely my wife to do a nice little review, maybe with the ladies, with this suede wine. Let's bring these back so we show what we got. Next up on the list, now this one, y'all know we've been trying to get our gin on. Uh, y'all know we write a, a cocktail book. Um, and so we need some more gin. I'm trying to find common ground, y'all. Please help me try to find some common ground. But in the meantime, I got that, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Uh, Bayab. So next on the list. Now, they have like three different offerings. I want to get all three. Was only able to get one, but they have like a orange flavor one, mm -hmm. like a strawberry, I think, one. But this is uh, just a classic gin. Bayab is African grown gin. And so if anybody can see where we can get the other two bottles from, uh, please let us know. But this is something I've been um, looking for. It was on my list, so I'm happy to say I got this by y'all. This well, I kinda got it engraved, like the, the name The Prince, yeah. On the, see, and it says African. 
Oh, you gotta love our people. Next up is a, a, it's a vodka that I can't wait to try. I love the story behind this bottle, me. And that is Go3 or GO3. I'm gonna call it GO3. So this GO3, it, it reminds me of the, the packaging, the marketing of um, Greenwood uh, whiskey. You have Greenwood, it pays O's and tribute to the, the Tulsa, Oklahoma, Greenwood district. This one, yes, you know about the, you know, okay, baby. Um, like, they have a whole little breakdown on the back, so it's actually So GO3 stands for General Order Number Three, and this is pretty much the order that freed the slaves. And so by the time, you know, y'all know the story behind Juneteenth. No, we were kind of the last one to know this pays homage to that. So on the bottle it says the people of Texas are informed that the accordance with the uh, proclamation from the ex-executives of the United States are uh, all slaves are free by order of Major General Granger, June 19, 1865. So again, this is history in a bottle. Can't wait to try this now. From, from my understanding, this is made from several different things. I want to say sweet corn, oh. sweet potato, and something else. <laughs> and I want to say, okay, so it's right here. So GO3 handcraft vodka is still from and blended from corn, sweet potato, and Russell pota or russet potato. So three different things. So I've never heard of vodka made from a sweet potato. It's like a Thanksgiving Why dinner. Potato, it's like a Thanksgiving dinner in a bottle. You got corn, you got sweet potato, you got potato. So I can't wait to try this and, and bust this thing open. So shout out to again, you got the big old 1865. Like, come on, y'all. What, what are we talking about? Why would you? Oh, I can't even talk. Why would you buy anything else outside of something from your people? Look at the history in this. This is the bottle that helps set us free, I, I guess. But again, you get the point, man. Like, come on, man. The imaging. <sighs> Next on the list is, I think this may be the last one. Yeah, so because Ethel was, uh, okay, we can get that from there. And so the last one is something that I'm super excited about. Um, we're a big fan of 10 to 1. We had uh, the other brands. We ran out the other offerings like the white rum and the dark rum. We got to get that back. We had the uh, 10 to 1 Uncle Nearest collab. As y'all can see, we've been, you know, it's, it's been, it's been, it's been taken care of. But we didn't know the importance of this bottle when we opened it. Without knowing this was a special collab and this is going to be expensive, I would never open it. But we still got it, so we're not going to drink any more of this. But while we, was, while we was in DC, we ended up getting the brand new 10 to 1 Black History Month edition. Beautiful bottle. This rum is, um, th so I think it's the same. I don't think this, the brand, the rum itself is anything different. I just think the packaging and the bottling is different. And so, um, the rum and so this is the bottle. Look at how beautiful it is. It's, uh, it's a black artist that did the design work on this. And again, I think every year they're gonna start coming out with a Black History Edition or a collab. Again, we've seen the Uncle Nearest collab and now this one right here. So this one won't get open. We're gonna put this up, but we did cop the 10 to 1 collab. So guys, this are all the bottles that we picked up while in DC. Maybe we get a thumbnail. Right, me. So here's all the bottles, baby. Let's get done now. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. I hope y'all like this DC haul part two. No, we hope you love this DC haul part two. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Share this out to everyone that's sipping with me. Now is where you can come to to find out everything about black-owned spirits. Um, uh, we do do taste testings and reviews and unboxing. We do have a few unboxings. Um, that we need to do. So again, we're getting behind, we're getting caught up. We got a lot of things to do. We got a cruise coming up, so we're kind of behind. So set those alerts. So after, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, that bing, so you stay notified whenever we drop new content. But don't just subscribe to the channel and hit that bell. Turn that thing on all. Make that thing 
All right, guys. So we love y'all. Love you guys. Please be safe. Drink responsibly. And we see y'all on the other side. Don't be scared now. Don't be scared now. Give it to